I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental. I was inspired to make this video after watching a video titled Is One Million Still Good? It was of course released by The Fragrance Apprentice, a creator that I look up to immensely. I love his creativity. I can only dream of being as creative as The Fragrance Apprentice. Hopefully one day I can get to meet him. So I wanted to take this still good concept and apply it to old school fragrances. So if you wanna know if old school fragrances are still good, Hey, babe, uh, do you have any milk? I'm making a video! Why would you come up to me when I'm making a video? Can't you see I'm filming? What is wrong with you? Fine, I'll just have, just have it black then. <laughs> Idiot. You just can't get the lodges these days. I, uh, I asked my lodger if he wanted to uh, be involved. He obviously wanted to get on screen. Um, yeah. So uh, I thought, let's bring him in for the whole video. Yeah. Let me explain the concept of this video. As I said in the intro, I'm taking that, uh, that idea of, is a fragrance still good? You know, it's been going for a few years. First of all, I want to chat to George about, um, you know, what made him uh, want to release this series of videos, uh, you know, is a fragrance still good? Uh, and I also want to apply that to, um, to some old school fragrances, because I'm, I'm not sure if, if that's been done. It, it, may have, it may have been done. But for me, it's all about association, because I know there's an association that a lot of people have with One Million, because back in the day, um, it was worn by a lot of people, a lot of younger people, so it's maybe got this association of being overworn, smelled too much, being a little bit juvenile. I watched George's video of the Still Good, um, One Million, and also his uh, earlier review, and he gave it a glowing review, so I bought it, and I was very interested, because I didn't have an association with One Million, I was interested to see, would I enjoy it, having no preconceptions about this being an overworn juvenile fragrance? fragrance. Um, so, you know, first of all, let's remind people what conclusion you came to. Is one million still good? What yeah, yeah, it is still good. Um, it was kind of ahead of, it, ahead of its time in a way. Yeah. And um, it's a fragrance that, I mean, people, it was really controversial at the time when it, when it came out because it was so loud and so uh, fruity and so it really punched you in the face. Um, but it's, 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 it's fantastic. It's fabulous. And I, I still get a weird kind of tingle about it. When you know, I smell it. For me, it smells high quality. Yeah. Uh, compared to a lot of designer releases that smell very These days, yeah. Designery, yeah, yeah. Um, it doesn't have that designery um, uh, aspect to it De as much. Designer designer fragrances are now are really like quite sugary and quite yeah. and quite and this is sugary, this is sweet, sweet obviously. Yeah, but, but it smells well blended. It smells well, well blended and, and it smells yeah. as though there was a really um, good idea and it's the same guy who did Herod. Oh, is it? Yeah, so, yeah. And, and you can, that, you, can, right. you can okay. tell, because okay, he, yeah. yeah. he uses cinnamon yeah. um, as a sort of a masculine trait in a fragrance, which I think is a very unique philosophy. Yeah. Um, but it's, you, you can see the connection immediately yeah. now, because uh, Herod and One Million are, yeah, uh, sure. they yeah. have kind of a similar uh, idea or philosophy of, of how they're made. Mm. Um, but it's great, it's it's lovely, and I still enjoy wearing it. I've got a hundred mil of it, and um, I'm just I'm just happy to have it still. And coming at this with no preconceptions, because I was I was all about Lamal and oh, yeah. Cool Water, so I just stuck with yeah. Lamal. I found Lamal, um, you know, back in the day, and I stuck with that because it worked. It got compliments. Yeah. I loved the smell of it. So I never went for one million at all. Uh, I'd smelled it once or twice in store, maybe years ago. But I couldn't really remember the DNA of the fragrance. So I was really interested to buy it and um, and just decide if I liked it, and I really do. I think it's a beautiful fragrance. I think it's very relevant still today. Mm. I think you still get lots of niche and designer releases that have this DNA, this type of uh, slightly yep. gourmandish yep. DNA. Uh, I think it's a very easy wear. I think it's um, nicely rounded. It's yeah. not rough around the edges. It doesn't screech. Of, I know it's probably mainly synthetic, but it doesn't screech of you know, that synthetic screechy type smell you get sometimes with designers. Well, there's a lot of uh, depth and there's a, a, a lot of um, you know, like solid bass notes. Um, yeah. that make it just, just yeah just make it more well-rounded and, yeah. and not uh, it's weird because then they did the flankers mm. and the flankers are more screechier to me yeah um, I like one million lucky 
a lot. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. But uh, they, they've done... I prefer the um, the Privé, but... Um, yeah, Privé's the pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty decent. Yeah. They, they did that awful. They did the cologne as well. They did the one million cologne. I didn't I smell that, actually. Out. I didn't smell the cologne. Wasn't, yeah. I wasn't up on that. But, anyway, yeah. so that's, that's kind of one million. And that brings us in. So that was my inspiration for making this video. So that leads us into these old school fragrances. Um, I want to, you know, see... Are they, do some people think they're dated and old school because of an association they have with those smells? Maybe smells they associate with smelling on their dads or their granddads, mm, uh, mm, mm. Uh, that kind of thing. So we're gonna, we're gonna explore a few fragrances here. Uh, we will look at Creed's Bois de Portugal. We've got Guerlain's Vetiver, Aqua de Palma's Colonia, and Dior's Eau Sauvage. So we're gonna smell and remind ourselves of each of these fragrances, speak briefly about them, and, and just decide whether we think they're still good oh, yeah, yeah. Um, today. Yeah. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if uh, George has any kind of dated associations with any of these fragrances. Yeah. Let's start with Bois de Portugal, which I've recently done a review on. Um, I can see why people would say that smells dated and old school. It is old school, yeah. But in a good way. It's an old school that I, I um, here's, can easily wear. Here's the thing, when I first got into fragrance, I loved stuff like this, loved right. stuff like this, and then I stop liking it because I realized that there was so much out there yeah but now I would buy something like this mm. again because I actually feel as though this this is a these classic styles are actually things that are really lacking in my collection yeah um, I've got uh, Aqua de Palma's Colonia Intenza, which is like a, a modernized. Yeah, that smells great on you, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, was, yeah, I was wearing that in Milan. Yeah, you wore that on, yeah, on the way home yeah, from yeah, Milan yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. that day, I remember, yeah. in the airport, yeah. And, and so, uh, and actually, I think that, that this kind of style really resonates very well with my skin. Yeah. And just kind of resonates with it's, myself. It's the classic cologne style. This, when colognes were first made, yeah. uh, aftershaves were first made for mm. men, you know, in barber shops uh, mm. uh, back in the day, they were this style. This was, yeah, this was yeah. the classic, the classical style, which is why some people associate it with it being a dated fragrance. Now, you know, in the last, uh, you know, what, 20 years, uh, fragrances for men have modernized, I suppose, and grown and become sweeter and um, gone down, more gone complex. Down, gone a little bit downhill. In some cases. <laughs> in some cases. Yeah. And the thing that I like about Border Portugal is that it's, it is all of those classical elements, but it's, uh, it has a lot of like that mossy, um, kind of woodier tone mm. it, that, that really has sort of like a, a hard, gritty uh, under underbelly, if you will. Yeah. And that really, really solidifies I, and it. And I think we'll find that even more with something like uh, Vetiver from Galan. Yeah, yeah, I think but it's, even more so, it's, yeah. it's really solid and... Yeah. and um, Very aromatic. Is it still good? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. In fact, it's not really aged a day. No. Uh, it hasn't. It just hasn't gone out of style because a fragrance like that can't really go out of style. Timeless classics. Yeah, they're, they're timeless classics. Yeah. So you know they yeah. will always be in style. They will always yeah. be relevant. They won't appeal to everybody. Like for example, I asked my wife um, what she thought of Bois de Portugal, and because of the heavy lavender in there, uh, it reminded her of her uh, grandparents' bathroom when she was a kid. They right. must have had some kind of scented lavender thing. Yeah, of course. In there. Yeah, I get um, it. I wanted to smell you know, manly and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and sexy to my wife, and I just smelled like a grandparent's bathroom. Well, it, well you know, God I wore was, it anyway. God loves God God. a trier, you know. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, mate, absolutely. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna go with Girl and Vetiver, yeah. the next one. Uh, are you familiar with this? Uh, have you smelled it recently? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not recently, but no, I've, no. I'm a bit of a Girl Lane fanboy in general. Um, yeah. Well, I think this is, yeah, this is mm. a little different to to the classical um here's the thing this is this is, you see vetiver is um it's something that can be really misunderstood because there's so many ways that you can deal with vetiver oh yeah and um you can have something like gray vetiver or sitiva which i love um there's vetiver in a fragrance i'm going to be showing you uh later on today the boss bold absolute uh, absolute yeah uh, sorry the, the the boss the scent absolute yep. that's confusing yeah um so vetiver it can be but in that in that sort of um grassy way this is like root vetiver yeah and this is a smoky earthy yeah yeah gritty that's been in the ground yeah right yeah and but i like i like that's a real manly uh element to that fragrance here's here's a weird thing right what this smells like to me this vetiver style has mm. always smelled like to me and i i as i live and breathe chris it reminds me of ready break 
Okay, the, right. the, the breakfast cereal. The breakfast cereal. It reminds me of okay. it's all that, that that note has always reminded me with like milk, uh, like and it's warm, warm, milky, ready bread. Okay, so take away the citruses from it and, yeah, and yeah, yeah, some yeah. of those other elements yeah, and that, just that, get to the heart of that yeah, vetiver. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. it's ready bread. Okay, now, that OT, milky OT yeah, yeah, type yeah, of yeah, smell. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and slightly and, earthy. Yeah, so again, we're talking about associations, yeah. and that's always been a wild one. I respect this style and I think that it's obviously a style that's worked because there have been so many fragrances like this but I just I don't I can't wear it you, it's funny because what you wore we went out in York last night and, yeah. and George uh, wore um, a flat cap like a, you know a, a yeah. cool modern style of flat cap um, and uh, a blazer and some tartan trousers yeah. a cool do you have a waistcoat on you have a, no, no no just my tie a shirt and tie yeah. and he looked dapper and I think that this fragrance, like Guerlain Vetiver, is a manly, masculine, classic, dapper fragrance. And I think yeah. you could have rocked this in, with the clothes you... We were wearing pure malt, which were, you know was amazing. <laughs> we got loads of compliments on it. And, uh, but we I did, think, actually. Yeah, we did. Got yeah. loads of compliments. Well, we were, malt. Just, we were just a pure malt atom bomb last night, <laughs> walking around York, <laughs> yeah. weren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, but the, I, I could have seen what you wore yeah. last night would have fit with uh, this style of fragrance. Probably, um, but it's not something I'd... I'd wear Water Portugal yeah. wearing... wearing that but I get I get I get it yeah. it's very sophisticated very classy right. I just I, I it can't good? it probably is yeah probably is but for you you wouldn't wear it yeah but I respect I've smelled that that DNA and that style yeah. so many times and people have raved about it people yeah. love that kind of style but I think that I just wouldn't want to feel as though I, I just put yeah really break all over myself okay fair enough so that is you know that yeah. is an association yeah. so because of an association not necessarily yeah. a dated association but association yeah uh, George feels that he you know he wouldn't yeah. wear this yeah. um, I don't have the ready break association no. and I don't have a granddad type association no. and maybe it maybe makes me think of something Sean Connery might have worn you know right. when he when he was Bond yeah. you know that manly hairy chest and, really yeah yeah um, but rough around the edges it's not the yeah. most refined vetiver fragrance no um, I love the tobacco I love the tonka it's got depth it's got backbone it lasts a long time and it's cheap it's about no. 30 quid a bottle for yes. the for the hundred mil you oh, see. if you're looking for a great classic style fragrance that um, that is a, a, a good bargain then Galan Vetiver is definitely one to look into. So, George, for him, it's not, you know, because of his association, you know, you're a bit on the fence. I think, but I think it's still good. Yeah, I think it's but still But it's good. just never been for me. Okay, all right. So we're gonna go with um, Aqua de Palmas Colonia next. Here we go. Here we go. Let's just get straight to it. I mean, this is, this is a fragrance that you just cannot yeah. fail to enjoy. Yeah. Really. I mean, there's, there's absolutely nothing in there that you, you know, well, but if if we're asking is it still good, the only the only problem with Aqua de Palma is they oversaturate their own market, right? With similar style fragrances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and they don't deviate from that from that DNA much, do they? Well, I mean, they, maybe they, with they, the black. They do with the with the, with, bottles, the, with, yeah. the uh, with the different lines and stuff like that. But they yeah. they they really really like how like how many hundreds of flankers we got this fragrance. Pure, um, intenser. <laughs> Ascenza, yeah. Influenza. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's catching. Charles Dickenza, whatever you want. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good flanker. Yeah. That's, that's my favourite one, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, Benza, Wenza, and Stupid Fenza. Oh, all of them. And uh, they're all of a similar vein, in a similar yeah, yeah, vein, yeah. aren't they? But this but is the this is the original Colonia. The, the, so this was good. I think it goes back to the. It's like a hundred years old, over hundred years old. Yeah, now, yeah, this fragrance. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic, but the problem is, is that they've 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 offered so many variations. Mm. I actually love. Oh, it's beautiful. I love. Sorry. <laughs> uh, is it Intenza I wear? Yeah, Intenza. Yeah, Intenza. That's mine. That yeah. is that is my. Yeah. I wear the absolute hell out of that. There's yeah. so little of it left now. Yeah. Because I just yeah. Blah, yeah. you know go through it um, all the time. And I own a Senza, which is essentially the same DNA, but um, With a bit more. It's, 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 a, it's a bit more full-bodied, a little yeah, bit stronger, yeah, yeah. a bit more so, lasting so, power. So what they've done is they've tried to kind of cater to all tastes, yeah. and it's worked for me. But I wouldn't really go back. I wouldn't necessarily go back to Colonia mm. because Colonia does smell to me a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit older. Okay. Um, yeah, I do. So maybe that. you're saying that one is for you is is not. I mean, it's still good, but, you, oh God, but there yeah. are other um, other fragrances yeah, yeah, in yeah. the uh, colonial line that you would go to over this one, which is which is lovely in a way. 
because there's kind of something for everybody and I yeah. think that's what they tried to do they tried to make something for everybody yeah um, and by, by splitting it into different sort of elements and in Tenza it's got that sort of white um, kind of floral musky uh, powderiness sweet powderiness right that just kills me every time okay and I love it yeah so I would wear that over Colonia but is Colonia still good uh, yeah, I'd say I'd, I'd say, say I'd yeah. say it's still good. I think I prefer a sensor because it's just a touch more modern. But, exactly. Um, yeah. We've got. I it. there are times when I'm just in the mood. If I'm if I'm you know going out for just a few hours, I don't necessarily need something that's going to last me all day. I just want something light, something easy, but something very classy. Mm. Colonia is is one that that I would I would choose. I don't have a bottle of it, but I would very happily have um, a bottle of Colonia. Mm. And you know what? It's nice to it's nice to own some of those. Original classic pianos as well. Just just to have it. We're keeping you up. Keeping you up. <laughs> Mate, we literally destroyed York. We were it was the Battle of York last yeah. night, so just I'm trying to recover. Is this video still good? George doesn't think so. Ah! Oh. No need to be like that. Right, we're gonna do the final one, otherwise we'll be here all day and uh, George will, will be asleep by the end of the video. <laughs> Can't believe you yawned on camera. What's wrong with you? <laughs> anyway. So, Dior's Eau Sauvage. This is not the uh, the most recent formulation. This is the original uh, formulation. It's the, this is the Parfum. So, based uh, around the 1960s uh, Eau de Toilette, um, but it's uh, it's stronger. I mean, the colour of that juice. I think mate. there's added maybe myrrh in, in this one. Yeah, um, the colour of the juice is yeah. dark green. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, I love the colour of, the, of the juice of, yeah. of this bottle. Yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah. No holding back on that one. No, it's um, it's guns blazing, isn't it? It's just that is something else, isn't yeah. it? I think it's probably. I love I love the almost sticky resonance quality. I think it's probably the, the best out of all of them, if I'm honest. Uh, I think the Border Portugal is probably the second. I would best. I would agree. But the, the, yeah. that one's the best. I would agree. Because uh, because yeah. that, that's like that also. I mean, is it is it still good? That actually smells kind of modern. I mean, that is, the, you know, the best version of Timeless, isn't it? If something, you know, smells still very modern. That's, that smells like something, like, if this was released today, it would be yeah. a hit. You know what I mean? Like, there's there's nothing, it hasn't even missed a beat. It's it's really resonant and, and dark. So and well put together, and, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Dior, when, when Dior, I mean, I, I've had a love-hate relationship with Dior ever since they released Sauvage. But, like, when they hit, they know what they're doing. They're yeah. the When they hit, they're the, one of the best in, in the game. Yeah. You know, and um, not only is it still good, I, I'm i going on record. If, if this came out today, people would be like, oh, this is so new and yeah. and brilliant and wonderful. And it's so against the grain of all of these other design releases. Design releases. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's like... And if you look at Dior, you know, with uh, obviously Sauvage is very popular, although, you know, not, not for everyone, not the most complex fragrance. But, you know, the, 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 the online, Dior mm. Parfum, Dior I'm Intense, mm. um, you know, Fahrenheit uh, and this. They've, you know, they're, they're always they're, creating something. That, they're always doing something yeah. good, uh, Dior. I think they're they're possibly consistently maybe the best designer house. I mean, like you got Fev uh, in, in the prime yeah. line. You got Amandoui. Yeah. You've got Udis Fahan, You got Bois Great you know, house. You got these all these fragrances yeah. that so, sometimes they're they're a bit wild, but when they're on, they're unbeatable, and every yeah. and everybody gets a little bit nervous yeah. about what they're releasing, you know, because they, they can create really original and interesting stuff. So I think that confirms um, that uh, Eau Sauvage Parfum is still good. Definitely. And I think really we, we went into this video knowing that we would think they're all still good because, you know, we smell a lot of fragrances, as I'm sure many of you uh, out there, so we can really appreciate uh, a good blend in, in a fragrance. and. I think you know we none, neither of us really have any strong associations that make us feel that these are too dated to wear. No. They feel classic, um, yeah. but they don't feel like they're they're not relevant anymore to wear. I think today. as fragrance collectors um, and as fragrance re reviewers and enthusiasts, you, your respect for these types of fragrances just go up and up and up because mm. you really realise yeah. that there's no gimmick like uh, there's no gimmicks there's no tricks there's no like th these are basic compositions Solid. yeah and the, the, none of these fragrances really have anything to hide behind no so they're just in it and i just wanted to give a shout out 
two, if you put all of these fragrances together and you made one combination, it would probably be Dan. Dan. Yeah, it would probably be Gravitas. gravitas uh, <laughs> poor on. We were going to yeah, yeah. talk a, a little bit about that in the video. I had it here on, on hand, but yeah, yeah. this this kind of takes that those old school barbershop yeah. ones, adds some sweetness, some patchouli, yeah. some vanilla, and, and puts a lovely modern twist on it. So yeah, um, yeah, that is a, a great release by Mr. Smelly. If, if you want, if yeah. you're a, if you're a beginner and you and you want to kind of get into this style of perfumery, don't worry, Dan hasn't paid us for these comments. Yeah. We were literally just discussing this before the video. Like, if you ha if you're a beginner and you want to get into these kind of classic style fragrances, but you you don't really know where to start, it's a good starting. Point. It's actually quite a good starting point, Gravitas. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So what I was trying to get in this video is that what I was trying to get to was that uh, you know smells and scents they're just you know they're raw natural materials and, and how can a, a, a raw natural smell become dated it's just a part of nature so I but I think you know people think they're dated because they might have a, an association yeah. with their grandparents bathroom yeah. uh, for instance and I'm glad that I don't have any associations with these fragrances I'm sure there are fragrances out there I would have those type oh, of yeah. associations um, Brute for example I know some people Brute. will still uh, I have a bottle actually um, <laughs> enjoy it I do it's still <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh my god. But I, that, my granddad used to have that in his bathroom, oh, yeah, yeah. on his shelf, and every time, and I love the smell because it reminds me of him, but uh, it's not something I could wear very often because that to me does have a, an old timey association. So it's just all about, you know, it's in the mind of, of the person who's smelling a fragrance. So I, I think, um, you know, we need to think carefully before we accuse any fragrance of smelling old school or too granddad ish uh, because. It is all to do with the association in, in one person's mind. Beauty is in the eye of yeah. the sniffer. And I want to make, actually, I want to finish with a, a movie analogy here. Oh and uh, yeah, I love cinema, I love films, as I know George does as well. And on a Sunday afternoon, I could quite happily put, you know, a, an, an old 1940s black and white movie on and really enjoy it because although it is not modern, I can respect that it, for its time, it was a very well made fragrance and I can really enjoy it. There are many people out there who love cinema that wouldn't find that type of movie accessible. Yeah. Um, it's it's personal taste. Well, yeah. I'm I'm yeah. still like uh, one of my favourite uh, series of films, The Marx Brothers. I still think I think they I think they're literally geniuses. Yeah. Physical comedy. I know. Yeah. Well, just everything. Just like they had everything, and I'll, I'll, yeah. I can watch like Animal Crackers or, or Go West or mm -hmm. um, you know Night at the Opera. Just, it's yeah. just so beautifully still alive. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and, yeah. and, and yeah. wonderful. If and, you allow yourself to to go into that and and almost change your mindset and, and not have modern day expectations but I don't, enjoy I don't, it. For, for, for some reason I don't even have to sort of do any sort of smoke and mirrors on myself with yeah, like Marx Brothers just enjoy or like it. films like um, like Roman Holiday with Greg Pak. Okay, yeah, we could be here yeah. for hours, let's yeah. not do, let's right. not, let's not let, do this. So, we'll, so, so you know some of us love, love old films, some of us love yeah. more modern yeah, films, yeah. some of us love, love older school yeah, yeah. fragrances, some of us don't. Um, but I think these are all cr cracking fragrances and if you think you might enjoy these old school style colognes, these ones are all still good. Yeah. So thank you, George, for joining me uh, to have uh, this conversation. Yeah. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah. Will you come back to Fragmental in your dressing gown sometime? And, uh, uh, oh, I need to show you where the milk is as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to go back to bed, actually. <laughs> but cheers. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Remember, keep tuning into FM. And keep smelling good. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs>